Backlash inside the FBI and Department of Justice over the decision to let Hillary Clinton off the hook for mishandling classified information. That's according to Fox News' Adam Housley, who spoke exclusively with two people closely involved in the year-long probe, who were upset with FBI Director James Comey's decision not to recommend charges. One source saying those working the case unanimously believed Hillary should face charges, saying, quote, no trial-level attorney agreed, no agent working the case agreed with the decision not to prosecute. It was a top-down decision. But a high-ranking FBI official also tells Fox News that while it might not have been a unanimous decision, the vast majority felt she should have been prosecuted and at the very least had her security clearance yanked. And we go back to James Comey's words. He says politics did not have anything to do with the decision that was ultimately, ultimately made. Speaker, your thoughts? Every lawyer I've talked to, when they look at the totality of uh, agreeing to immunity, agreeing to destroy the computers, mm -hmm. when you get down the list, uh, the, Comey's performance is the most disgraceful performance by an FBI director in the history of the Bureau. And I think uh, the next president has to appoint an independent counsel, starting with what was the conversation on the airplane between the attorney general and President Clinton? Wow. And, and I mean, 39 minutes of sitting there talking, Mm -hmm. uh, a week before they interview his wife and then the interview with his wife where they allow her staff to come in even though they're not in fact her attorneys and they don't take any records that, that there's no recording uh, and she you know for a woman who go, goes out and does as good a job as she does to say 39 times I can't remember yes yeah. and nobody thinks there's something phony going down. This is the kind of corruption that has led people to decide that they would rather take the risk of Donald Trump than continue down the road of corruption that Clinton represents. It's hard to have a good feeling about what we know about what went down there, Megan. I'm not surprised. It's not like, I mean, congratulations to Adam Housley for getting people on the record talking about this, but I think this is something we already knew. I, I don't feel bad for James Comey anymore. I think at a certain point he's going to have to step down because it is just so egregious. The corruption is so horrible. You're talking Talking about everybody in the FBI except you and obviously it's done for political purposes because this woman could be the next president of the United States I agree with Speaker Gingrich it's why people hate the Clinton so much and it's why there's so much distrust because they live by a different set of standards and laws than the average American does to now even have the thought Harris that politics was involved with the director of the FBI's decision here, it makes you wonder what the reputation of the FBI will be from here on out. I think it's even deeper than that for Comey because he promised us that it wouldn't be. He sat in that hearing on Capitol Hill and he said it wasn't going to be like that. That would mean he lied. Yeah. So it's, it's farther than just, you know, do we want to look at the reputation of the FBI? Do we want to take a deeper look at this particular individual who promised to have our backs as the American people mm -hmm. and get to the bottom of this and make a, a, a real straight case based on the evidence um, for possible look at by the DOJ? If he didn't do his job, it, it wasn't just that he was bad at it, then it was he was dishonest. And that's, those are the questions that are going to come about. Well. And, and you need an independent counsel because to what right. extent because to what extent is he doing it because the president and the attorney general are instructing him to do it mm -hmm. right. and what were the memos what were the meetings who was in the room and, yeah. and you know speaker one of the things that, that that I think is frustrating for the American people is that it gets hinged to politics this should be irrespective of that hmm. this should look at whether or not we were served as the American public well, remember and, in Watergate you had an attorney general and you had a deputy attorney general and you had an FBI director who all resigned mm -hmm. because they would not do what the president asked them to do. Mm -hmm. In this case, everybody caved. All right. Okay, yeah. last word. Okay, I just, so I, to tag on to what you're saying, I don't even think that it's maybe as much politics as it is very personal. His job is on the line, but more than that, if you felt like, well, I think I can just do my job and be untouched, and then you see that the attorney general can get on a plane in broad daylight with Bill Clinton, yep. then all of a sudden, personally, you're going to look at it and say, you know what? I, I can be touched. These people get away with absolutely everything. I'm out. Like, that's too deep for me. That's a a good possibility. All right. Well, we are waiting on a, a speech by Donald Trump, a rally in the key state of a swing state, I should say, of Florida, where he says he'll be making a, quote, major speech. He will be addressing the women who, or the question is, will he address the women who have accused him of those unwanted sexual advances? We are awaiting that speech by Donald Trump.